As a further research tool, we're developing small-scale self-contained plant growth chambers. This one is located at my home and we're using it to collect data and represents a first generation prototype of a type of unit that could be used by universities for research purposes and by home hobbyists. We have this unit connected to the house with power and a data acquisition system to collect information and operating performance on the system. Inside the unit, you see two benches between an aisle, which under the bench we have a thermal mass, which is a water tank. And you see the bench here underneath it is a water tank containing about 10,000 pounds of water. This is the glazing system, the south-facing glazing, which is a three-layer of vinyl film. The inner layer is a double layer. The outer layer is a single layer. The inner layer, which is double, has water flowing between the two layers to create what we call a water-cooled glazing system. You see the water here falling from the interior glazing, which drains down onto the bench actually flows along the top surface of the bench, which we're using right now also to water the plants, sub-irrigation, and then goes back under the bench into the tank. The water cooling process controls both the temperature and the humidity in the module. Water that's transpired by the crop is condensed on the cool glazing and will come back and be reused for plant growth. This is a self-contained process in which we need no air handling or air conditioning to control the heat gain within the plant growth module. This is what is going to make it a very interesting research tool. Additionally, there is the foam system in this plant growth module. This is the foam tank. It's a small tank because we expand the foam 1,000 times to fill the glazing area. The foam is liquid is pumped up to a uh, foam generator unit, which consists of a fan, which blows air into a pressurized area below a, a screen, which is porous. The soap liquid is shot onto this porous screen from a nozzle located beneath it. And this is what is used to generate the foam insulation. Liquid foam is made by blowing air through the wetted screen. Bubbles are blown and move into the cavity space in the glazing system. The cavity space is about 16 inches deep and forms a good insulating blanket of bubbles. The bubbles prevent um, convection within the cavity and thereby create insulation by holding the air within each bubble. Additionally, the foam absorbs infrared radiation. Infrared radiation entering through the glazing is really the main source of overheating in the greenhouse. So this controlled environment module does not overheat when we have the foam in place as a shading device. It's a very effective shading device and reduces the visible light by about 50% while absorbing almost 100% of the infrared radiation. The greenhouse roof filled with liquid foam creates an excellent growth environment in bright sunlight. The potential for Southern climates is very good for controlling temperature gain inside structures. In the north, we use it overnight to insulate the roof from heat loss when the temperature is very cold in the winter. The foam insulation has also reflectivity, which you can see here in bright sunlight. To switch 
the cavity space back to a high light transmission, we can destroy the foam by blowing air with the fan into the cavity, which dislodges the foam which is in the cavity and returns it to the fan where it's destroyed and it's converted back to liquid which drains down to the foam tank.